right. It's time. Clinton Morgan returns to Rambo Mania. Let's go to Patrick Stack from California. Here we go. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. <clears throat> Contacting. Says your browser doesn't support video on Facebook. Do you want me to retry Skype? Let's open the Skype. To the Skype. To the Skype. Come on, Skype. Facebook, you have failed me once again. No, I don't want to. Please work. Please work. <laughs> No, I don't want to upgrade. No upgrade. Okay, let me try again. I'm sorry for this, Pat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm having trouble. There we go! We've done it. Mission accomplished. That was a close one. Really close. Nice shirt. Oh, thank you. Nice shirt. This is my first blood, my other first blood shirt. I dig it. I feel you. <laughs> so how are you? Just I'm pretty good. I'm sorry about this jam up. Do you think you, you're going to have enough time for... Uh, yeah. Do do? We can do a... I only got... One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven questions so we can maybe plow through those. Yeah. Uh, and then get into the rockabilly. When, when is this thing coming out? It's going to come out in October. It's being distributed by a company called Virgil Films. Okay. And they've done a number of music documentaries. They did uh, Bud Campbell. They did uh, Neil Young. They did I Am Chris Farley. Mm. Uh, that's music. So they've done a number of good documentaries. So it'll be out in October. I can't tell you what platforms just yet. Okay. But... Hopefully, it'll start with broadcast and then go to uh, digital, VOD, DVD. Oh, man. It looks good. Like, the sizzle reel is amazing. Cool. It's, like, it's far out there. I, nice. caught, I caught you on that rockabilly... Uh, that Radio the, Rock? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a cool site. It's a cool dude. He's a good friend, James Riley. 
Yeah, it's great how he like streams the music. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome stuff. He's good. He's good. Yeah. So how you doing? You good? I'm I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting married next month. So oh, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm so, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, that's like yeah. that's a big one. Thank you. Sure. Thank Congrats. you. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be down in Vegas, so. Oh, there you are. It's gonna be my first time out there. Oh. Ah, yeah. uh, Viva Las Vegas is happening this coming weekend. Yeah, so yeah, I saw that. Going to New York, uh, we'd be out there again. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's cool. It's a cool show. It's gonna be fantastic. Great. I'm trying to, to, to coax her into doing like an Elvis wedding. No luck yet, but. Okay. Still well, trying. Good luck with that. All right. Good luck. Oh, oh I, I just wanted to mention there's a new school opening up here for. Um, uh, it called it Showbiz, but it's like. It's a French school, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to have English and French students in it. Oh. So I was, wondering, I was wondering if I could pitch all the right moves to them because. You can. I must say, that's a bit of a back burner for me right now, trying to get into Rockabilly Film going. Okay. Starting two new projects. Ooh. One's another documentary, another's a feature film. And we're also pitching into Rockabilly World as a television show. Oh, my goodness. So I've just been kind of on the back, bit of the back burner. Okay. All the, uh, all the right folks. Well, but we can work on that down the line. Yeah, I'm happy to take any help I can get. Thank you. Thank you. For for TV, like, that's going to be wicked. What are you guys going to, like, tour around, do different, different, uh, like, rockabilly events or different... So, uh, the, the show will be based around six of the characters from the movie. Oh, sick. Yeah. So, we'll follow them as they interact with other rockabillies and how they interact with civilians. Oh, that's going to uh, be wicked. Civilians, these people look like friends. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be cool. All oh, that sort of stuff. So, yeah. I know just from the sizzle reel, everything looks spectacular. Oh, great, good. Yeah, it, it looks like time travel. You know, it's like traveling back in time. It is. These people wish every day would be nine. You know, April, whatever today is, thirteenth. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> that's what they would like. So. Gold. Gold. All right, so I guess we'll jump into these questions. Yeah, let's get to it. All right. Um, so Lorianne Marchand O'Donnell, that's my sister. Nice. Asks, um, what was your, what was it like to tour with Nathan Lane back in the day? A lot of fun. We met during uh, a show in New York called What's New. It was a sketch music show, very much maybe like Saturday Night Live, where we did topical news items and tried to turn them into uh, comedic news items. And uh, again, the show was called What's New? And one reviewer who actually reviewed the show started off this review by saying, what's new? Nothing. <laughs> but we did that show for about six, about eight weeks. And we made each other laugh, so we decided to do uh, a comedy team. And we were in New York, and we did local, and then we came out to California. And when we came to California, we had signed with William Morris Agency, which at the time was the biggest agency. We would open for their A acts. So we opened for uh, The Letterman, Air Supply, uh, Al Jarreau, Michael Franks. And we toured in places like the Playboy Clubs, back when that stuff existed. And we did... The Tonight Show, The Tomorrow Show, The Murph Perfect Show, The Mike Douglas Show, The Norm Crosby Show, that kind of stuff. Oh, that was so cool. Hey, okay, very quick story. We opened for Eddie Rabbit, a country guy, in Petaluma, California, and we had no billing. In other words, the only thing on the marquee was Tonight, Eddie Rabbit. <laughs> and we never any mention that Stack and Lane were going to perform for Eddie Rabbit. Mm -hmm. And the first show was at 8 o'clock. And when the lights were down, everybody thought Eddie Rabbit would come out. But instead, Stack and Lane came out. The audience was screaming so loudly. And there were probably about 1,800 people in the audience. It was a good-sized theater. 
The audience was screaming so loudly for us to get off the stage <laughs> that we couldn't even hear each other. But we plowed through. That was the 8 o'clock show. The 10 o'clock show. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they had, well, they had been drinking. You know, at least the 8 o'clock show, they, they, they weren't drunk. 10 o'clock, forget it. So anyway, that's that was, that was just one of our fun stops along the way. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm having dinner with Nathan uh, tomorrow night in New York. Oh, amazing. Yep. Tell him I said hi. I'm a fan. I'll say. Yeah, does he owe you money? I think he owes me like $7,000. I'll make sure you or get something it. like that. <laughs> oh, and the B-side to that question was, um, what was your, what's your best Nathan Lane story? Of us together? Yeah. Well, I, would, I think that's a pretty good one, that Eddie Rabbit one. Yeah, I like uh, that one. Published that one. We once, uh, probably the worst job we had, we were sent up to a place called uh, the Catskill Mountains, which mm -hmm. is an area outside of New York City where there are a lot of hotels and performers who go up there. And we were the headliners at a, it was predominantly Jewish singles Weight Watchers. Wow. And that was our audience. That's got to be cool. Not the Jewish thing, I did, obviously. But the fact that they were singles and all part of Weight Watchers made it a very interesting evening. <laughs> That's gold. Yeah. That's amazing. And well, don't forget to tell Nathan he promised to... Uh, to, to be our reverend out there in Vegas. He promised to marry us, so... Okay. I'm well, holding yeah. him to that one. <laughs> that's, an ama that's amazing... That's some amazing stuff, man. So you must have seen it all, like, on the yeah. road. Uh, I mean, you're in this business for a long time. You meet a lot of people. You see a lot of crazy things happen. Mm -hmm. And you've got a lot of great stories to tell. Oh, yeah. But I've enjoyed what I've done. It hasn't been an easy business mm -hmm. to deal with. I can tell you that. And it's not for it's not for everyone, even though everyone seems to think it is for everyone. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's a crazy life. And for most people, that uncertainty is not something that they can kind of handle. I'm not saying I handle it that well either, but it's just what it is. It's the nature of the business. So. It's, oh yeah, difficult, man. Yeah. Everything show business. It's difficult. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. You're, you're in show business. Technically, yeah. Yeah. Technically, no. I, yeah, try, I right. constantly try. It's, it's always trial and error. All the time. That's, That's it. You throw a lot of stuff up against the wall and you see it sticks. Yeah. 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 Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, 